Hey everyone, this is Alex from AP Auto Art, APAutoArt.com. Welcome to another Photoshop post process breakdown video. Today we'll be looking at this image I shot slash created of two Mustangs racing in the desert. So let's begin. Starting with the background, the first thing I did was open up a base shot of the desert alone. I tilted the camera because I wanted more of an aggressive angle to the whole photo. So after opening this image, I used the Photoshop path blurs and created all the paths to blur the image. I kept the sky the same and did not blur that at all because I did not want any blurs affecting it. After that, uh, let's see, the tire smoke we'll come back to later, but I added a flare. Uh, the flare I used, let's see here, flare... Uh, I used Null Light Factory to create a sun flare and then put that in the center of the road and then using a mask, I masked it out so only the sky has a flare affecting it. After that, I started adding all the background layer effects. So I'll go through this one at a time and you guys can see how they affected the image. So the first thing I did was added curves and uh, just brighten the image up so it's not as dark. Then I added a gradient map for the sky and the point of this was to just give it a nicer blue color as you can see here. Then I added another curves, adding more contrast to the ground itself, to the road. Then another curves, this one I painted in selectively and uh, just brightened up the road. I think this one I probably added after the car was already in place to kind of highlight the car a little more. Adding another curves layer, even more so to darken the front of the road. Then let's see. Added another gradient map universal to the whole image to kind of give it that dry color tone. Another gradient map to give it a brighter tone as well. And lastly, I believe, yep, there we go. I desaturated the entire image to just, again, enhance that whole dry feel to the entire image itself. And that's the background effects. Next, I threw in the chrome Mustang. So, let's see here. This was the car after I cropped it from the photo itself. I actually took this photo of both of the cars together at the same time. But uh, using the polarized filter kind of selected how I wanted it to affect the car. So for this one, I used this photo specifically for the Chrome Mustang. After I selected the car, well, cropped it out, I recreated the shadows and used, uh, let's see, yep, the blur gallery again using the motion, the path blur to give it that motion as if the car is just flying down the road. Then I blurred the wheels on the car. It's kind of harder to see because it's pretty small, but the wheels are blurred now, so it has the realistic motion. Then I went through and started adding curves. This one is to just darken some of the areas of the car to give it more contrast. Another curves to do the same thing, but highlight some portions of the car. The I felt that the side of the car was a little dark, so then I added another curves to brighten that up. And lastly, using a soft brush, I went through and added some brightness to give the appearance that the bulbs are on and in fact just working. And that's the chrome Mustang. After that I brought in the army colored Mustang. The same thing, I used a different photo from the same setup and uh, cropped out the chrome, well, the army colored Mustang. I recreated the shadow and blurred it again with the path blur. Then added more curves, as you can see here, adding more contrast and depth and definition to the car for highlights and shadows. Then here you can actually really tell, but I blurred the, the front and the back wheel to give it that realistic movement. Then I went through and added curves. I didn't like the, how this was also a bit dark, so I brightened that up with the curves. Then I did that again and give it even more highlights on the side. And... Uh, kind of because of the light source and so that kind of directed why I wanted the sides to be much brighter than they were. And lastly, same as before, I just used a soft brush and painted in the bulbs to give it that glow effect. And that's the Army Mustang. Next I added dust to the image around the cars. So using a custom dust brush I painted in dust behind the wheels and around the whole area to just give it that look as if they're just driving through this dry, deserty road and just picking up dust and throwing it in the air. Then I went back to the uh, layer above the blurred 
uh, road and added more dust. The reason I did this is just because I didn't want it to be in front of any of the car cars. And so this way it's behind them in a safe flare and adding the effect as well. And lastly, using Null Light Factory, I added another flare from this headlight to just kind of tie it in and give it that cool effect. And then I moved on to the atmosphere layer. So let's see. For the atmosphere, the first thing I did was added a curves. Uh, this is a colored curves, actually. So if you can see here, I adjusted the RGB values, red, green, blue values, to kind of change the color tone of the entire image to my liking. Then I used a color fill. This just uh, affects the entire image, and I lowered it's at very low opacity at 2%, but just enough to add a little dimension to the color as well. Then I added another curves layer to kind of darken the entire image a little bit, and I painted out a portion of it. Oh, okay, so I didn't want the chrome mustang to be darker. I guess I wanted uh, to kind of have a little more emphasis on that card, so that's why I darkened everything else. And lastly, I added another curves to just build more contrast to the entire image itself. And uh, yeah, that's how we got the final image of these two Mustangs racing through the deserty road. So that concludes another breakdown of my post-processing files. If you guys have any questions in regards to anything, please let me know and I'll be happy to answer them. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, and uh, if you want to connect with me on social media, please follow me on Facebook and Instagram at AP Auto Art. Thanks again for watching, guys. I hope you have a great day. So go out there and take some photos.